string on this changeup. He's got great arm action with it. Again, his changeup looks like his fastball, so for a lot of hitters, it's very difficult to stay back. You almost have to guess on when he's going to throw that pitch. So one down for Nolan Brown. Talking to the TCU coaches, I mean, you get a fastball in this game, you do something with it because the off-speed stuff generally for Gingery is pretty good. Very good. And we've seen a few of those examples already. Again, it's the arm action that makes that changeup work. There's a strike and a breaking ball to Nolan Brown. There's a hitting coach, Mr. Mosiello. Tell you what, uh, there is some energy flowing out of Bill Mosiello. We talked to him earlier this morning, and wow, yeah, he, he, he was on a few Red Bulls this morning, I tell you what. But I love that about a hitting coach. We've always talked about a hitting coach can do a lot, and, and Mosiello has been around. He knows hitting, uh, and he knows baseball. But the greatest thing about hitting coaches is that they're almost psychologists, and if they have the energy, and you can feed off of that energy. It just instantly makes you a better hitter. I was struck by the reverence he has for the players he's gotten to coach. So much so that one of his three sons is named Helton for Todd, who he had at Tennessee. A great hitter. Nice of Bill to check with Todd before he named his kid Helton. Todd signed off on it. Two and two, line drive into center field, and Nolan Brown, who certainly is a candidate to steal, is on at first. Well done by Nolan Brown there, just sitting back, seeing the ball, and then he just lays, Gingry lays a little slider in there and catches too much of the plate, base hit to center field. Great approach. 21 steals, he's only been caught once. He is tops in the Big 12. And so you got a lefty on the mound, we'll see what Brown's idea is. Strike one to Michael Landestoy, the first baseman getting some run with left-handers on the mound for Texas Tech. There's a pick. What'd you see? You'll, you'll see Berglund flipping his thumb with his pointer finger. That's that's the sign for pick. And I wonder if they'll change that up if, if TCU happens to get a runner on second. But Lent, Berglund and Gingri are really going to have to hold them close because TCU is going to be looking to steal just about every pitch. That's another trademark of Mosiello when he came over. He had a lot of the same guys doubled and then some the stolen base total, and it was just a rejuvenation of the offense for Jim Schlossnagel and his TCU side. You heard back coming from the first base coach. They're typically just going to show him that they're paying attention to him. He wasn't trying to pick him off right there. That's not his best move. And sometimes you can lull a runner to sleep by throwing that pit, that pick and then coming back with a better one. He holds and a strike from Gingry. Two strikes on Landis Toy. He's played now in four of the last five games for TCU, which lost in a midweek game to Stephen F. Austin this week before heading to Lubbock. And what you'll see Stephen Gingry do is he'll change his timing up. He'll come set and he'll wait. Other times he'll come set and go quick. And timing and when he delivers the pitch is a huge deal in holding runners. He doesn't necessarily have to pick off every time, but the timing of when he comes set and changing that up is a, makes a big difference. There's a long hold and time called. What body part are you watching? on the mound if you're the runner over there first. Well, if you've got a great move as a left-handed hitter, it's hard to, hit a, hard to watch any body part. If he pulls his knee about beyond the mound, he has to go home. You can watch for that. But better, better left-handed pitchers, it's hard to read. There he goes, swing and a miss for strike three. And it is a steal, ball into center field. And Nolan Brown causing havoc on the base path. He has stolen base number 22.